and welcome to CNCF Minutes. In this video, we'll talk about KEDA, which is Kubernetes Event Driven Auto Scaling. Scaling in Kubernetes can be horizontal or vertical. And horizontal meaning that you say you have one pod, uh, after scaling, it will be two pods. And vertical scaling means you have one pod, the CPU or the memory will increase for the same particular pod. Uh, so which is called a uh, vertical pod auto scaler, and this is called horizontal pod auto scaler. The metrics are CPU and memory, which are not enough for a particular application. Because uh, when you talk about CPU or the memory, then the event has already happened. And after that, if you scale, uh, there can still be problems. So this is where KEDA comes in. And KEDA is event driven uh, auto scaling using the extensible scalers. So scalers is a very important concept in KEDA. And uh, you have multiple scalers which can be extended. You can write your own scalers. And KEDA can be installed on any Kubernetes cluster and it can scale a particular deployment to zero, which cannot be possible in Kubernetes. Uh, it directly talks to the Kubernetes API server after getting the metrics and tell the Kubernetes API to scale the workload. And it scales based on different events and metrics. So features of KEDA includes, uh, it is yes, event driven. So based on all the events like a queue, uh, how many items are there in the queue based on that it can scale or um, uh, what is the specific uh, count for a particular metrics from Prometheus uh, based on that it can scale. And it tries to make auto scaling as simple as possible. It has built in scalers, So you can use all the scalers that are pre built. It supports multiple workload types like the deployment, jobs, cron, etc and it is vendor agnostic so there are multiple uh, scalers uh, for different cloud vendors for different open source tools scaler is a key component as i told before that reads the metrics uh, and based on that it scales the workload so architecture wise uh, keda will be installed onto the kubernetes cluster it, it has the controller the scalers scaler will be getting the metrics and the controller will be scaling and uh, to and from zero to a particular workload uh, and it uses the uh, kubernetes horizontal pod auto scaler to scale to to and from one so that is a very simple architecture where scalers plays a very important role. So let's see KEDA in action. So in this particular demo, we'll be seeing uh, the Prometheus scaler and I already have Prometheus installed on a K3S cluster and we'll be using the query uh, for this particular scenario. And you can see in the Prometheus dashboard as well, if you we execute, you will be having a certain number based on that particular threshold, it will try to auto scale. Now, if you see kubectl get deploy, you are seeing only one pod ready for this particular deployment. So if I do vikeda.yaml and let's change this to two uh, minutes and maybe 10 so that we can see the auto scaling happening automatically for the application. kubectl apply hyphen f keda. So the CR is configured, kubectl get pods and you can see the pods have started auto scaling immediately. So that is how KEDA works. This is a one particular example of a Prometheus scaler. There are other scalers as well. You can see InfluxDB, Cron, CPU, and uh, the cloud vendors are there, Redis, RabbitMQ. So all these scalers are pre-built. You can create your own scaler as well. Uh, so this is how KEDA works on a very high level. If you want a more deep dive session, do not forget to put in the comment box, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.